All right, so uh, torch, right? Torch instead of Allen. So I have the torch bit right here. Uh, and this is a torch size 20 uh, torch bit. So let's see how tight these are. These things, are, if I'm to guess, I would say they are also uh, dark tight as well. So this thing has six bolts instead of five, like on the bolt tracks. Oops. Okay, and this, this is an old Craftsman. I think this was a U.S. made one, so it's pretty good, but you know, I wouldn't want to get the Chinese made one. It's a U.S. made one, but but my uh, my ball thing right here is worn out, so it doesn't hold. It doesn't hold. It doesn't hold the uh, bit anymore. So I'm like, you know. So every once in a while it pops off. I'm like, God damn it! And it's been like that for quite a few years now. I should have I should have replaced this a long time ago when when. When Sears was still in business, and when Craftsman's, uh, when this thing was still U.S. made, um, I think this, I think mine worn out when when Craftsman was still U.S. made, but I was too lazy. And by the time that, you know, Craftsman started to be made in in China, and, and it's not the same Ch Ch Chinese Craftsman's tool is not the same as uh, American Craftsman tool. The American Craftsman tool is much better. Um, so, you know, that's when Sears started to go downhill, right? Back then, back in the back in the two thousands, early two thousands, Sears was still okay, but by the late two thousands, they were going downhill already, and uh, and they were being bought out or merging with Kmart, I think, at the time, and all this other stuff. Also, around that same time, they were that's when they started to become the Craftsman tools started to become China made instead of U.S. made. Then later on. Sears, what was it? They sold the Craftsman brand, so now I think uh, one of the two companies uh, owns Craftsman now. I think it's I think it was Stanley, if I can remember right. So these ones don't feel like they have any uh, Loctite in them. I don't. I didn't feel any Loctite at all. There was no none of that Loctite resistance. So six of them. Set them aside. Remove them. When you do. You gotta go to the hardware store, and I'm not sure they have. If you could easily get Torx Torx uh, bits. Uh, you know, the Camel sunk. These are camel sunk. Camel sunk. Uh, camel sunk torque bits. Uh, so it might be kind of you know, and, and then metric. So that might be kind of hard to uh, to find at a hardware store. Okay. So now I got that off. Let's see how this thing is moving. But this thing is it's a very tight fit. This cover against the wheel itself is a very tight fit. So let me, uh, actually let me take this off here. That way, the thing could pop off without that valve cap being in the way. Let's see, I'm gonna see if I could, uh, back off the camera a little bit so I can get on the pavement here. Let's see if I could kind of do this a little bit, kind of. Obviously, my tires still pumped up, so it should be all right. Um, nope, that didn't do anything. I was hoping it would kind of budge, budge the cover a little bit. Uh, I was hoping it would budge this cover a little bit so I could. Uh, yeah, get a screwdriver into it easier. It looks like I can't. So I have a little flathead screwdriver, and this one's really worn out. It's basically like a pointy blade now. It's not even. It doesn't even have its square head anymore. Um, so this is what I use for prying stuff. I think that that's the reason why it's so worn out because I I use it for prying stuff. I've had this thing for like forever. Let's see. Nope. Can't get in there. So we can get in here where the valve stem is. Oh, come on. Ah, man, it's still tight. I can feel this whole thing still tight. It feels like some, there's something else holding it in. And it feels like a, um, it feels like, like it has like some kind of cocking or, or maybe an O-ring or something that's holding it in. And that's probably also what's, what makes this thing, um, uh, water, uh, was it the IP54 or 56 or whatever number it is splash, you know, it makes it splash proof So I think that's that's what's keeping this thing on so tight 
I wonder if the back has anything. I don't think it does. The back side of this wheel. Yeah, it just has this things. I don't even know. That's plastic. This is metal. This is aluminum plastic. Let's see what this thing, what this side has. So, nothing. Did I just break? No, I didn't. For a second there, I thought I just I broke my thing, but it's not. It's actually a actually a clip. So yeah, so there's nothing's on this side. Just a little cover that covers this thing. Oh, it's just right here, nine bot. Uh, nine bot. Right, because this, this is own. You know, this is a uh, nine bot. Uh, nine bot owns has an ownership in the uh, in Xiaomi. Ninebot Segway, because I think Ninebot bought out Segway. That's why it's called Segway Ninebot. But Ninebot bought out Segway, and I think Ninebot also has an ownership in a uh, Xiaomi. That's why you see the uh, Ninebot name. Okay, so all of them pop back in, so we good there. Let's go back to this side. Okay, so nothing, nothing is holding this in. Okay, let's see. Let me try this again. Maybe this little screwdriver is not enough leverage. Let's see, the bigger one. Here's anything. So you know when you do this, this is gonna mar up your wheel. So, so that's kind of a kind of a given. So you don't expect the. I think it's too big. The head's too big. I yeah, can't get it in. You know, sort of. Oh man, I can see. Cause this side is so thin, I can actually see the metal right here kind of flexing a little bit, so that's not good. Because if I did any more force, this little bridge right here would will uh, under under cover will will crack. So I don't want to do that. Let me go to a meteor. A meteor. Oh shit! I, I just bent my freaking stem there. God damn it! I knew that was gonna happen. Uh, let me uh, push it back later. Go back to the small one, so that we can avoid the stem. Tight, very, very tight. Ah, whew. Man, that's why people talk about these wheels being extremely difficult to uh, to change the flat. This is what they're talking about. I think this is the main thing. Well, they might have, they might have problems with the with the nuts on here too. But if you have the right tools for the nut, you should be okay. But but this cover though, there really isn't a there really isn't a right tool for the cover. Oh wait a minute! I see, I see it spinning. Now the holes are off center now, so that's good. That means there's some slippage there. That's a good sign. That means it's uh, whatever was kind of binding. It's not fully binding yet. So that means I could still um, let me push it around back the other way around. So I was able to push it. Can oh uh, push it clockwise, see if I can push it counterclockwise. And I'm doing that so that way I could sort of break this thing loose. Okay, so I so it's able to push it counterclockwise as well. So now I have a little bit more space here. Let's see if I could uh pop this thing up. Oh. Dang it, I don't wanna bend this valve stem again with this big one. This big one's gonna bend the valve stem. Um, dang it. No, I have more space here, so hopefully I could. Ah. Ah. Oof, man. Nothing's happening. It's a very tight fit. It's like an extremely tight fit. That's why it's able to have its splash, splash uh, rating, splash resistant, uh, water resistant rating. Man, all these bugs are buzzing around my face. It's a hot day today. It's like 90 degrees, 90 degrees today. 
day. Bugs are buzzing around my face. Let's see if I can get this damn thing off. Man, that thing's not broken. I didn't move this thing at all. Let's see if I can find a spot where there's a little bit of a maybe a lip or something I could put my screwdriver in. It's right here. I can feel it. Yeah, I got. Oh wait a minute! I got it. I got it. Okay, I got. I got an edge in. Oh man! Oh come on! It's barely in there. It's barely in there, but it's in there. Ugh. Okay, man, it's all dinged up. The whip, the wheel. Look at that! It's all scratched up. But it's just how it is. Better to suffer now than suffer later. <laughs> so since I got that first edge off, I should be able to get these other edges off too. Cause they gave me a little bit of slack, a little bit, of, just a little bit of space, just enough, I think. Hey, I'm really digging up my my rim. It's not looking new anymore. Do this, so you kind of walk and you know, walk the thing all the way around. Walk the uh, screwdriver to basically to pop it off all the way around. Um, it will. You're basically because uh, how the cover fits on is like it slides. It's, it slides into the, the shaft, for example. So you get so that way it slides straight out. So that's why you can't just pop one side off because when you're trying to pop one side off, it's 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 doing this. It, you know, inside the shaft right here, basically. So it's doing that. It's just torquing uh, on the shaft and, and not, you have to basically get it straight out. So if you inch a little bit of time all the way around and you keep on doing that, it will slowly give you, uh, it slowly smooths the, the, the cover up and uh, that will, um, that will uh, give you more space. And when you, get, when you have enough space, you can put the bigger screwdriver on and, and if you do on one on each side, you should be able to uh it should be able to pop off so i'm not sure if i'm gonna be able to do it on camera because oh shit something a little looser now than it was before yeah it's a little bit looser now than it was before looks like i get get the screwdriver in Every edge that I'm doing, it's a good sign. But you can see it all the way around. You see the the, the indentation of the screwdriver. Um, so, so yeah, so your wheel definitely won't look new after this. After doing this, won't look new anymore. Slowly shimming it in, shimming it in. Slowly shimming it in. Trying to get a bigger, more of a gap. So yeah, oof, man. Uh, let's stop the video and I'm going to continue doing this. All right, so I think I got it. So what I did was I got enough uh, space in here to, to keep one in, keep one screwdriver in. And I slowly just kind of used the, the small screwdriver and just kind of slowly walked it, walked it along here. As I as I walked it along, I basically I, w I went in, I lifted it up a little bit to give it a little bit of gap. I put the other one in, gave it a little gap, and, and I just kept on slowly walking it all the way over. Now that I'm at 180 degrees over here, since you're at 180 degrees, you have basically even pressure. 
on both sides so it's uniform. So that way when you when you, you just kind of do this you know, butterfly thing uh, motion uh, and the whole thing will lift up because again how this thing is attached it's, it's, it's mainly right here that's holding it in. Um, it's a it's a basically the, the axle it's a cylinder, right? It's, think of it as a cylinder and this, and this cover here is another cylinder. Um, one male, one female, and it slides right on. So, and it's, they're both square against each other. So if you only pry from one side, it, it, it does this, it cocks it over, but it doesn't come off. So, it, so actually it, it wedges even tighter, so that's why it doesn't want to come off. But you can get it from, from 180 degree of each other. It puts even pressure, so that way it lifts up and slides up, like so. So that's, that's, how, uh, that's how you do it. And that's it. Pop it off. Pop it open. Um, and it's all right here. Is it, it, with that bearing. The bearing right here was what seated, and it was nice. It was a very tight fit. Um, that's it. And that's the motor. 300 watt motor, right? 300 watt motor. Let's see how many wires, how many windings there are here. That's one, two, three, four, five. I see five wires. Uh, let's see how many actual windings there are in there. Let's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Let's see. What's the divisible number by twenty-seven? Twenty-seven. Nine. 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 Nine.